Welcome back to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. I'm Ace House Thor, joined by Stevie C, Mark Sherry, and our very special guest, Andrew O'Dell from Ghost Hit Recording, who we're featuring on today's show. You just heard Shadowcat with Gatekeeper from The Hip by Best Man, Untangled by Dead Mall, and starting things off, Golden by Lee Sylvester. Let's start with Golden, because that song is so interesting. Like, there's a little bit of America vibes, like the band America in it, but sort of a modern iteration on that on that direction. It's beautiful stuff. Really puts you in a mood. Oh, it does. I, it's, it's dreamy and haunting in a, in a way. And it, it really gets to that in-between state. You're, you know, you're watching the shadows get longer. My brother-in-law calls it the golden hour. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. he waits for it and he goes fishing on the lake then and the interlude just brings the song to a different vibration that golden hour and then it comes back in it, it's great i love this song he um only started he's been playing uh, you know as a musician for like over 20 years and just the last two years i guess he's he started uh, as a solo artist and and um, and obviously he's got the chops <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Lee's an incredible um, musician and singer, and um, this track and uh, and some of the other music he's been putting out and is working on right now is produced by Rob Griffith from the band um, Bronze Radio Return. He's been kind of a mm-hmm. a regular at the studio this year, and Rob's also an incredibly talented guy. Um, so this track uh, is a collaboration between them um, that we did at the studio, and uh, so proud of but how it came together. Yeah, Lee's Lee's amazing. Yeah. And he's from uh, New Haven, Connecticut area. And then the next tune that we had was uh, Untangled by Dead Maw. That's and, uh, such a track. That's a, that's a great name for um, a lot of people who in the Pioneer Valley know uh, where, uh, I'm sure if you don't know the band, you probably have a, an idea where they got their name from. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> the Dead Mall, which is now... Uh, a quite an active mall, but it used to be like, incredibly dead. <laughs> and for years, people, uh, people, they, this is in Hadley, Mass, and uh, people, you know, definitely uh, had had their own feelings about uh, the mall itself. But uh, the band <laughs> is is a lot better than the mall used to be. I'll say that. <laughs> it's so sure. interesting with this song because, like, it almost feels like bedroom pop. It has the aesthetics and the approach of bedroom pop. But then the production is pristine. So it has this sort of interesting dynamic going on where it's beautifully done while still somehow seeming to have that DIY vibe. How did that come together? That's such an interesting production style. Wow, you you really just nailed it <laughs> with your description because <laughs> that's pretty much exactly what we were going for this, with this project. I think this is maybe my third or fourth record with um, Gabe and Elihu, who are both um, people who are native to, to Western Massachusetts, um, who front the band Dead Mall. Um, and they've made music in their bedroom for years and years and years. And for a long time, I would just, you know, mix whatever they'd record from home. Um, with this project, it was one of the first records where we did a lot of recording in the studio. So like drums and guitars are things that we added to what they'd done in their bedrooms, literally. Mm. <laughs> so mm-hmm. uh, we kind of wanted to bring, you know, more of like a hi-fi polished, like Casey Musgraves kind of vibe. Mm. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. what I had yeah, in my head. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But they, you know, they're sense. just all about, you know, like uh, producing their own music and, you know, that sort of auto-tune vocal vibe and that yeah, yeah. pop thing so yeah good 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 description there <laughs> and then speaking of really interesting production styles from the hip best man that is so interesting like that that sound that's not quite a synth and not quite a guitar for the for the lead and then those vocals that are all squished together in a whole crunchy harmony that is so interesting it's like one part live and then one part studio polish and i Again, how did that come together? Because that's <laughs> that such a unique sound. That was my question. How did this song come it's together? It's so cool, but like what happened? <laughs> yeah, this is um, Nate Monshine, who also plays uh, drums in the local band Old Flame. And he and I have been friends for a long time, going back to high school and before high school. Um, and this is his first solo record under his, the name Best Man. Um, and he has some just incredible music in the works. And this album is, is a real favorite of mine. 
Um, so we recorded the drums for this record together and I've worked with Nate on drums so many times. So it's very easy for us <laughs> to get together in a room and cut drums. Uh, and then he really got in his, in his, you know, in his head um, in a good way about the production of this, you know, really, really intricate, beautiful arrangements that he wrote and recorded himself at his studio. And then we came back together to my studio to mix for about a week. And it was just a really, really fun process of experimentation, you know, with different kinds of sounds, not being afraid to really mess up certain sounds and go, go big or go home. Yeah. Yeah. I hear it. It's super unique. And then Shadow Cat, of course, brilliant vocals, brilliant arrangement. This is, this is just a really good song, like sort of, sort of 90s in some ways. Like I hear a touch of REM in there, just a little bit around the edges, you know. Um, yeah, actually, there's there's an REM cover on this record, I think, on the CD. Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what they're going for. Um, <laughs> it's uh, Austin Hatch from the band Matt Bird, another, you know, longstanding mm. Western Mass uh, rock band. And his wife, Katie, uh, made this project Shadow Cat. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, really, really awesome collection of songs that they made that, you know, it's a little bit of shoegaze, a little bit of alt rock, a little bit of that kind of 90s nostalgia vibe and they're still writing amazing music at home and and i'm i'm just waiting for the call when we can do another record i really like this song yeah that's incredible stuff yeah i'd like to hear more from shadow cat mm -hmm. me Absolutely. too me too well you had some great tunes to share with us today and i'm sure that uh you know there are many many tunes uh, that you can bring to us that uh we would all love um, and certainly uh, the breadth of, uh, of, you know, the kinds of music that you were um, able to record, um, you know, showing, showing really what uh, you can do with that at your studio. And, um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you know, for anybody looking for a studio with incredible acoustics, beautiful um, vibe and, and feeling like you're, you know, creating the uh, next incarnation of holy music <laughs> <laughs> by being in an 1800s converted church um, with a great uh, engineer, you should come to uh, Ghost Hit. And we wanna really thank everybody with visiting with us today. You know, again, we had our spotlight on Ghost Hit Recording Studios in uh, West Springfield, Mass. And we hope you enjoyed some great original music from Western New England artists. The New Music Alliance Radio Hour is brought to you by the New Music Alliance, a 501c3 nonprofit whose mission is to assist and advance the careers of, of talented, creative local musicians who write original music and to promote the extended Western New England area as a destination for original music writing, production, and performances. And if you like what we're doing here on the show, tell your friends about it and like the New Music Alliance and the Radio Hour on our Facebook pages. And if you support the New Music Alliance's mission, please visit newmusicalliance.org and you can become a member or a sponsor. And are you a local Western New England musician who would like to have your original music considered to be in our show? If yes, send links to your song to newmusicalliance at gmail.com. And... Uh, Join us next week for more great um, original music from Western New England and check the Facebook pages of your favorite local artists to catch their live streaming concerts and watch out for the New Music Alliance's new project called the Essential Western New England Songbook, um, which will be coming uh, out on June 25th in a virtual release party. And... Please stay safe, wear your masks, social distance, and spread only the love. And until next week, keep on rocking. <laughs> and let's have Charles and Khalif Neville take us out today with African Eyes. <laughs>